I tested two best-selling robot mowers side by side and one crushed it in perfect conditions while the other pulled off an impressive performance under very difficult circumstances. I ran the Anthbot Genie and the Ecovacs Goat 1000 on two completely different lawns, a large flat yard with short grass and full visibility to the beacons and a very challenging lawn, muddy, bumpy with overgrown grass and poor beacon visibility. The results? Let's just say they didn't perform how I expected. I love the idea of a robot mower. Mowing is such a hard chore, especially in the summer heat. And who wouldn't want a robot that could get it all done without any help from you? I decided to purchase these two mowers because both are very well reviewed and both work without a boundary wire. Mowers with boundary wires can be very time consuming to set up. The wires can be easily damaged and they don't offer any obstacle detection. Both the Ecovacs Goat and the Anthbot Genie use RTK beacons to navigate, so they can be much more precise than mowers that rely on boundary wires, mapping out the corners of your lawn and mowing all the way to the edges. The Anthbot and Ecovacs were both set up within 30 minutes of opening the boxes, and after a couple hours of charging, they were ready to go. Plus, if I ever decide to move to a new house or even just move a flower bed, they can easily remap and handle a new layout. But once they were set up, how did they actually perform? First, let's talk about the flat, well-maintained lawn with beacons that had a clear view of almost the entire mowing area. The Goat 1000 was nearly flawless. It moved with precision, leaving very few missed spots and clean edges. I was super impressed. The Anthbot did a pretty good job too, but it missed a few more spots. It did, however, do surprisingly well dodging obstacles. Better than the goat, actually, which avoided almost everything except this pool toy. But the Anthbot wasn't quite as consistent in full coverage mowing and did miss a strip of grass here and there. So for flat, easy lawns, the goat offered better coverage and I was very impressed with its results. But things got really interesting on the tougher lawn. This lawn is kind of a lawnmower's worst nightmare. It's bumpy, muddy, and the grass was very overgrown. Plus, the options for beacon placement were very limited, and the angles around the house made it so the beacon rarely had a clear view of the mower. And this was a big problem. The goat really struggled without a clear view of the beacon. It hesitated, missed large zones, and got confused in muddy areas, sending it completely off the map. And to be fair, the instructions tell you to mow overgrown grass to a reasonable length before running the mower but I tried anyway. The goat was not having it and got stuck in a patch of long grass within a few minutes. Meanwhile, the Anthbot Genie kind of powered through. Despite some mud and bumpy ground and even some longer grass, it kept mowing fairly precisely. That was a shocker. I expected the goat to dominate in the difficult lawn like it had in the easy one, but the Anthbot adapted better to the unpredictable environment. It did, however, eventually get stuck in the long grass. So definitely follow the instructions and make sure to mow your grass to a reasonable length before you expect either of these mowers to perform. The Anthbot also struggled with very heavy mud and it got off map in places where it didn't have good beacon visibility. So which mower wins? If your lawn is flat, trimmed, and predictable, and you have a spot for the beacon that will give you a good view of most of the lawn, the Ecovax Goat 1000 is the champ. But if you're dealing with a messy, uneven, or even slightly muddy lawn, the Anthbot Genie just might be a better fit as long as you have a pretty good place to put the beacon. The bad news is, based on my testing, if you've got an oddly shaped yard that doesn't have a fairly clear shot to the RTK beacon, you probably won't be too happy with either of these. The good news is, Ecovacs just released their Goat 3000 with LiDAR. And from early reviews and what I know about the near-perfect coverage of Ecovac LiDAR vacuums, I think it might work really well in yards with trickier layouts. If you want to check these out, there are links in the description. I'll also drop a link to the Ecovac Goat 3000 if you've got a yard that's oddly shaped and won't work well with the RTK Beacon. Like and subscribe for more smart product comparisons.